Okay, let's talk about the categories. Petroleum-based, oils and so forth, biological proteins, synthetic dyes, organic, and other. It's always other. Category one, which is petroleum. We want to dissolve it. What does it take to dissolve an oil? Some kind of solvent, not water, obviously. We need to break it down. We need to emulsify it so we can extract it out. Let's see what we take. Things, stuff like this. We're going to get into virtually all of these. Stuff like this. If it's just plain oil, WD-40, whatever, just safety salt. Okay, well, let's move on to, and one of you asked about this. They said, are you going to talk about cooking grease? Well, of course. That's category two. Proteins. For proteins, cooking oils, blood, urine, feces, be surprised what we see, we use Prozyme. Prozyme is a bacteria-based product. We don't tell people that, though, because in a customer's mind, what's bacteria? Germs. You could not live without bacteria. It's in your gut. It dissolves everything. In fact, one of the if one of the things that sometimes happens to you when you've had flu and you've had diarrhea and so on and so forth, what gradually happens to you? A lot of the if all, a lot of the illness is because the bacteria system is all messed up. And they've got to get it back, get it, get that working for you again. So we say that it's enzymes which sounds a whole lot better. Enzyme bacteria products work very well. They're natural. They're organic, which sounds good. And it basically eats everything up. What, the, what an enzyme does is act as a catalyst to make the bacteria do its job better. Synthetic dyes, Kool-Aid, NyQuil I showed you. Betadine, what's betadine? Betadine is iodine mixed with... Uh, Polyvinyl pyrrolidone. I, I have all these big words, PVP. It's a, it's a uh, polymer, but it's commonly used where? Surgery, nursing home, hospitals, etc. Makes a terrible stain. They usually try to remove it with the magic elixir peroxide. Guess what happens? It makes it worse. It's the exact opposite of what needs to be used. It takes a reducing bleach, which we'll, which we'll talk about. Just for men, hair dye. Gatorade, miracle Grow. Do you suppose it's green because there's some natural organic thing in there that's green? Oh, come on. Iodine tincture, Pepto-Bismol, popsicles. It just goes on and on and on. Because Dog food, do you suppose it's nice red because it's nice fresh meat? It's got a dye in it. All these things have dyes in it. What's in these? Well, let's see here. Uh, oh man, this is nasty stuff. Yellow 6, red 40. Oh, this sounds terrible. Brominated vegetable oil. Oh, that's gross. Anyhow, yellow dye and red dye 40. That's what's in there. How about what's in here? Red 22, red 28. And a bunch of other stuff. Well, how about here? Kool Aid. Anytime you look at a label, red 40, blue 1. Red 40. Red 40, blue 1. That's in, the, in those Kool-Aid. So what are these? They're negatively charged dyes. Normally, we get those out with a reducing bleach, red relief. But not always. That's what we're going to talk about. Red relief, as I said before, is a reducing bleach. It is the exact opposite of stain magic. It removes oxygen from the molecule. The stain is still there. 
We simply change the dye into a colorless dye. But this, it's really still there. Stained area covered with a damp towel. Heat it with steam heat. We'll talk about that in a little bit and extract. But if it's blue Kool-Aid, we use, do the same thing but with stain magic. Synthetic dyes, most synthetic dyes. It's a reducing bleach, which means it pulls oxygen off the molecule. It always smells a little bit sulfury. You mix up equal parts of A and B, or you use the dual chamber sitting up here. Apply the stained area. How heavy? Soaked. Of course, this is after you've cleaned, okay? Because if this is Kool-Aid, it's got sugar in it. Cover with a damp towel. Steam heat, one to four minutes. We have to check every 30 seconds. Extract, dry blot, red relief. You must rinse out. It does not evaporate. It keeps on bleaching. Organic-based stains, moving on. Coffee, mustard, wine, furniture stain, urine, tea, curry, fruit, fruit juice, chocolate, ketchup. All of these are what we need is our oxidizing bleach, stain magic for these. We extract. We wear rubber gloves with this. We don't have to rinse it out of synthetics. Some carpet dye may get removed. We do not use stain magic on natural fibers. It's too strong. Stain magic, as well as that 40 volume peroxide, they're unstable. So don't, don't store your stain magic on top of the hot water tank. Where's my stain magic? There we go. Because heat will just speed up its degradation. We say this for, so that if you screw up a carpet, it's not our fault. You're supposed to always check in an inconspicuous area for color fastness before using. Well, that's absurd because are you going to do all of that and then do the spot? You just, you just take your chances. Extract the spot, get it dry, equal parts of A and B, or use the dual chamber. This is the key. That mixed solution can be, should be used within about five minutes. Don't ever mix it with red relief. Apply it liberally. 